This is my sister Sanjay's doll. And if you want one, you can go to Amazon.com and type in Sanjay Williams. since we were the smallest kids on the team and then after a while the team you know just started going downhill so I got my next team called the Showstoppers and I was on there probably all the way to the age of 12 and then after that her the um coach her daughter um graduated and she was the captain so you know the team went downhill again so now that's when I had to trap for the dancing dogs the team I'm on now and it has given me a lot of opportunities because I was like really, really shy and I didn't want to do anything. I was um, like in this little shell that stopped me from doing like certain dances or dancing how I wanted to. When we go to practice, we we walk in, put our stuff down, we stretch for about like 15 minutes and then sometimes we go outside and run and then we'll come back in and start the routine like either teaching or reviewing with the new girls or just getting ready for the performance. And sometimes, like, outside of practice, we work out, so we still stay in shape. So, for this, this case, we've been working out every day in and practice. <laughs> How long does practice usually last? Ooh, usually it's, like 6 to 10. Yeah, every day from 6 to 10. We don't have a popcorn machine or a guy done a cotton candy machine, so look like we're going to have to eat microwave popcorn today. <laughs> What she do? <laughs> I don't think she did that. I don't think she did that. Oh. oh my God! Why you gotta look? Oh, she missed it. No, no, no. Yes, you can, I'm jumping back, but she can't. That's what I just said. <laughs> I just know it. No, that's not you. Right. 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 It's coming. Uh -huh. Come on, it's coming. Oh yeah. I ain't gotta think about it. I got this one. I got this. You sure you ain't just moved it? No, she didn't. No, you gotta move right there. I know I'm finna move it. You ain't gotta tell me. I got you need to be there with her. Cause I, I got this. Mm-hmm. Trying to be a little slick there. Bang. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Shuffle in him. 
And then if you got like two of the same car, you can pull both of them. Oh, really? Okay, thank you. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that so enough. Okay, so what's the elimination? Once you get out, you can't play the next one. Oh, okay. Well, that's one that's well, it won't be. Hmm. <laughs> she changed the color. Oh, really? Okay, this is a card. I started Sanjay off with the Jackson Stepperettes. As a matter of fact, it was a lady by the name of Miss Ann Hartwell that that um had the Jackson Stepperettes. As a matter of fact, when I was ten years old playing football at Green Elementary. Miss Ann Hartwell had the Jackson Stepper Ritz back then, so you know how long she's been around. She was one of the first people up in uh, Mississippi basically to start that. And man, I'm telling you, she had a great name for herself. She won all kind of competitions in Memphis, Tunica, everywhere they go. As a matter of fact, that was Miss Diana with the Dancing Dolls got done at uh, AT, as a matter of fact. That's her AT, and uh, Ann Hartwell is the one that started it all. So once I got start, I mean, Sanjay involved, then eventually, you know, Sanjay was like two years older than her sister. She had already created a name for herself, and she had a name for herself, and she created that image to basically everybody was looking for her sisters to have the same image. So, of course, I got Star and Sky involved at the age of five. So all that baby started at the age of five. And I get this call one day, and Miss Ann Hartwell and her assistant, Ms. Car Mr. Carnell, you know, he was the one that was teaching the routines and everything. They called him meeting with me. And they said, we don't think uh, Star and Sky is ready yet. Because, see, they was the type of person they wanted to be baby. They wanted everybody to hold them. And they just didn't think, you know, that they had matured enough to dance. Because Miss Ann Hartwell and, and Cornell thought, well, maybe they just wouldn't wreck. So I said, no, nah. I said, they put on with y'all. I said, they get away with what you let them do. So, of course, I said, give me one more day with them. Let me talk to them. And, of course, you know, I went home, had a good conversation with Dad and babies. And, and I told them, I said, you know, you Y'all gotta stop acting like you, you know, you look babies or something and you can't do this because y'all can do this. I say, your sister, everybody got it up in their blood, y'all got it in y'all. I say, so it's time for y'all to get it. So my thing is that grandmama, which is my mama, was also on the drill team. Then you had my sister that was a, a wonderful dancer. So, you know, dancing just grew up in our blood. Plus, I was a famous stepper and dancer coming up through school and everything, too. So, it was no excuse why they couldn't do it. I'm just going to be honest. They had it in them. So, they just had to go out there and show them. So, of course, they went out there. They gave it their all. And Miss Hartwell and Carnell, uh, so they said, we want to meet with you. They say, I don't know what you said or what you did. They say, but these girls came out here, Star Sky dancing like we ain't never seen them dance before. And they say, they were trying to fool us, but we know that they can do that. And they were not going to never make the team. But when they went out there and they did their thing, they proved that they had it in them. And that's what it was all about. And they couldn't get there. They, they, they Miss Hallway told them. She said, for now, ain't nobody picking them up. Ain't nobody going to be holding them. They want to act like babies. They tried to fool me. The only thing we got problem dealing with with them now is identifying them. And they're going to stop trying to fool us on that too. <laughs> of course, you know, Miss Hartwell, you know, she got older, you know, because like I say, she had been dealing with the drill team ever since I was a young boy. And uh, she got older, she retired, and she's still living right now to this day, one of the greatest women that you can ever meet. And uh, if it wasn't for her and all of us starting off under her, which she wanted to retire before that, and I talked her into it, I said, no, nah, Miss Hartwell, whatever you do, I got three girls. You got to stay there long enough just to get them girls where they need to be. And she said, no, nah, Jay, I don't think I can do it. I think I'm going to be on retired then. But she stayed there long enough to get these girls developed. And that paved the way for my girl being successful, being on the number one TV hit show Bring It right now to today. And I want to say I thank you, Miss Hartwell, for doing that. Because if it wasn't for you, we probably wouldn't have had that stomping ground, them techniques to get us to the next level like these girls did. <laughs> Why not? Because they were trying to fool us. They got to
story. Show. 
when she couldn't go, when she thought she couldn't go no more. And that's the moral of the story. And she ended up doing it. She never gave up, as y'all seen up on the show. She paved the way. She ended up making a battle squad and ended up being one of the biggest fan favorites up on the show. And when she, not only did she do that, she won a scholarship to go to DeSalle University in Pennsylvania off the show. Full rap. Now, what a blessing is that. After high school, I would like to attend Alcorn and I would, or Mississippi State. I want to become a Golden Girl because I still want to dance when I get in college. And I'm hoping I make it. Once I graduate high school, I want to go to college and I want to major in business administration. But I also want to still dance. I want to be a Golden Girl. That's what I really want to be. So, I'm going to try to do that and wish me luck because that's really what I want to do. One thing about it. Whoever you hang around, what you hang around, that's what you're going to become. So you got to make sure that your circle is right. And you got to make sure your circle is tight. Because you might not got that to say, well, I'm not going to be like that person. But if you got that hanging around something that's not right, eventually you might not be trying to be like it. But it's just going to overcome you. And you're going to be like it. So put the right people in your life like I did there in Vegas. And then righteousness will come out of it. Exactly. Do y'all see this box? <laughs> Man, I don't even play with dogs. I'm a man. But God damn, let me tell y'all something. Y'all got to get this dog. On the front of it, you got Sanjay. Then you got on the bottom of it, College Life. Then you got Sanjay. Then you got a picture over there in the background so you can see that this dog does look like her. Then she got some shoes off the chain. Matter of fact, God damn, man, y'all might want to wear these shoes yourself, God damn. Y'all got any daughters out there, man, looking for some dogs. And you know, it's hard to find, got down some African American dogs, got down that everybody was born to play with. You go to the shelf first thing, you say, oh, we want an African American dog, but you never see one that you just really like. You can find it, go get it for a birthday gift, present, just because you want to play with it for Christmas, whatever you want to do. You got a dog. And on the back of it, you got all the things you can read just like on the back of a cereal box. Yellow. Oh, really? Oh, really? Okay, this a card. You can choose anything you want. Who, me? Mm -hmm. I can. I want you to draw for no food play in your life. Say that again? Draw for no food and play. No who? No food and play. So you get food and play. Hold up, baby. Hey, call me. Well, it's either draw four or draw two, and she says she can decide what I can do on this card. Something draw four and pick, pick the card. You don't say draw two. Draw two. Boy, this is a new one they don't put in here. Boy, this is a, boy, this is some bull crap here. This ain't right at all. What? What? No. You don't need that. I'm gonna reverse it now. I blew. You can do that, you gotta jump in. No. 
also a CD. Slide, let's go, buddy. I got it back. I got it back. Y'all ready for this? You ready for this? Yes. Boom, boom. <laughs> Let me show y'all that on camera again in slow motion. Boom. I just want to know when y'all stretching and stuff. This something y'all both do every day because I know when I was on that show doing that backflip that night when I came in, I caught three China horses. I need like, that baby. I caught two in the right leg and one in the left. I'm sitting there going to bed with one of the legs hanging over the bed like this right here because I'm too scared to bend because I feel like it's going to roll back up. I heard my best friend that was walking. You know, I'm goofy, so they never believe me. So I'm like, y'all, wait, something's happening. And I start, I start walking real slow and I start working my way to the ground. And then my feet was like this, so I, I had boots on. So yeah. my feet started doing this. And I was like, something wrong with my feet. And then I pulled, I pulled my boots off. My mom was pulling my boots off. And my toes was like, this. every time she pulled my toes back like that, they worked this way. Yeah. We just finished the parade. And now I gotta carry up. I remember one time we was dancing, we was doing a pump on routine. And um, oh. I had to get a death drop. You know, we got pump ons in our heads. So I said, boom, we all all the way back. I had jumped up and my ankle said, Bum. So my mom was like, Did she mess up? So then I was like, So we lined up for the gist. I was like, Stop. My ankle hurt. And I was like, I was like, I was like, I was like, I think I heard my ankle. Then I tapped the last two cards. Can I do that? Oh no. He can. He just put the same in the window. Fast forward, try to figure out, because that's all you're going to get today. Stay tuned, you'll see me more on another show.